Hello and welcome to my future highlights in March 2025 with SAP DataSphere. What a great first quarter and also lots of new features and enhancements with our two March releases. So let's check out my top features. The first one, the new Horizon theme. SAP DataSphere has adopted the SAP standard Horizon theme which offers a modern and fresh look with a new vibrant color palette. The icons and the user interface elements may have changed to adopt this modern design, but functionalities of the software remain the same. The second one, metadata object versioning. Object versions have now been introduced for views, analytic models, data access controls and local tables. New object versions are created automatically at the time of deployment. This means you can now list the past versions of objects, open a past version in a read-only mode in a new tab, download a past version to a season or JSON file, and restore a past version to replace the current version. Be aware that the saving of an error-free restored version overwrites the current object. It is also important to understand that the versioning happens for the metadata of an object and not its data. The third one, grand total for calculated measures. We provide a new function for calculated measures in the analytic model expression editor called grand total. The function grand total calculates the overall sum of a given measure and computes it independent of the current drill down state. This function takes one argument, a measure, for example the grand total of sales, which then aggregates the value of sales. The fourth one, task chains in a local time zone. You can now schedule tasks in your preferred region or location time zone next to UTC, which remains the default setting. The schedules will automatically adjust to reflect daylight saving time as well. This ensures accurate timing for task execution to synchronize with all the shared global operations. The last one, folder navigation. We also made a small adjustment to the navigation behavior around folders. So when closing an object now, you will return to the last open folder. So far, when closing editors, the root folder was always displayed and now the data builder opens the last open folder. So all in all, very cool features helping you to use SAP DataSphere way more efficiently. Thanks for joining me this month for the SAP DataSphere Highlight Overview. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest updates. Take care and see you soon.